I'm here with Cade Beloso, former John Curtis Patriot. You got some dirt there. You made the walk around this stadium. How does it feel? It's unbelievable. I mean, can't put can't put words into it. You just I just the common theme is just excitement. Uh, so excited and you know just so happy. You know we, we won a national championship and to God be the glory. You know without him none of us would be here today and you know. God doesn't make mistakes, so that's another thing. You know, this is unbelievable to celebrate with our teammates, though. You know, it's it's funny because you've mentioned before you wouldn't take any other path to get here, and it's been a long, winding journey to get to this point. Does it feel great that after all the turbul all the trials and tribulations you've had to go through, you get to celebrate tonight like this? I would do this a million times over. You know, I would go through everything I've went through for the last five years to feel what I'm feeling right now. Let's talk about tonight and, like, after having – the performance in game two, the bounce back, and you guys were just raking tonight at the plate. Yeah, I mean, they absolutely beat the crap out of us on, you know, game two, and, you know, we didn't let it affect us. You know, you didn't see any frowning faces. You know, it, it's just one of those days where nothing goes your way, and, you know, we realized that sometimes baseball is brutal. But, you know, the common theme was uh, one game, national championship, are you in? Are you out? I think everybody said they were in, so... The pride that the NOLA people, especially on this team, you and Trey and all the other local guys here, you guys grew up watching LSU. It took 14 years to get to this point again. How does it feel to beat that team to do it? Unbelievable. I, you know, like you said, I grew up watching guys like Mikey Matuk, Ryan Schiff, Jared Mitchell, Nolan Kane, DJ LeMahieu, Micah Gibbs, Sean Ochinko, all those guys. And, man, it feels, feels good to be one of them, you know, forever now. Yeah, no, I teared up a little bit. I mean, dude, we've, it's been a ride. I mean, me and him especially, we, we've been at it for three years. I mean, I this mean is, did it feel kind of like a full circle moment? I mean, you talked about wanting to have tears of joy in yeah. Omaha. Just, I guess, talk about the emotions you would feel in there. I mean, time. yeah, my first interview of the playoffs, I talked about not wanting to cry in my own dugout, but wanting to cry tears of joy here, and it worked out. I mean, it felt surreal when we felt like we had this locked up. Um, we were just celebrating. It was awesome. Just the offense's ability to kind of flush what happened yesterday. You guys come out and score 18 runs, yeah. score four hits. Um, just the, the mentality to take to do something like that you know, in this big situation. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that thought process didn't even make it on the bus. Um, as soon as we got in the locker room, we talked about it. We flushed it instantly. And I know people could say, yeah, we flushed it, all that. But we actually lived it. We actually didn't let anybody get on that bus until it was flushed. And that's what, uh, that was the result of today. We showed up today and played our best game of the season. Talk about Patrick's performance. Six set of innings there for Yeah, guys. it was huge, man. He went up there, he attacked his own, threw strikes, kept them off balance. I mean, had him uncomfortable. And uh, he, he shut him down. Look at all those zeros. We couldn't could have done much better. Is this, is this kind of what the postseason is about in terms of Jordan Thompson? Not mightily struggles for a yeah. little bit. Comes in, gives you guys three big hits, three RBIs. Just, Talk about Jordan's moment there. To yeah, have that big game in that I moment. mean, dude, we never lost faith in him. That's our shortstop. That's our guy. We believe he's one of the best shortstops in the country. And for him to come out today and play the game that he did, that we all believe that he could, that he would, I mean, it's awesome. I'm so happy for him. Trey, yeah, of course. that embrace with your dad and the whole family over there, how, how, how was that moment? Oh, that was awesome. I mean, without them, this would not be a reality. This wouldn't be anything close to a reality. They believed in me. They put the thought even in my head at a young age. So, I mean, that's the first people I hugged. Without them, this this wouldn't be a thing. 18 runs. It was a pretty impressive play. Everybody was getting their theirs at the plate tonight. What went right for you guys tonight? I mean, we just stuck to our plan. Um, hats off to Jack Caglione. He came out. He, he was throwing it for sure. That is a little off balance. Um, I mean, but we were able to zone up, get him out the game early, get to their pen like our plan was. And uh, we just kept attacking. We never took our foot off their throats. We just kept going. Trey, we talked many times about wanting to get this program back to a national championship. 14-year yeah. gap between you guys grew up watching LSU. Right. Now to beat that team that does it, how does right. it feel? I mean, it's awesome. Being able to put this school back to the pinnacle of college baseball, I mean, it's what dreams are made of. Uh, especially me coming from New Orleans, watching, watching TV, watching LSU play, uh, watching people from my high school go to LSU. I mean, this is, this is awesome. Nothing compares to this. Doesn't get any more special than this, does it? <laughs> no, man. This is uh, this has been everything to me, man. Uh, you know, me and my parents, we, my family. This, this is what we worked our whole lives for. Uh, growing up, an LSU fan, 
in Baton Rouge. I mean, I grew up in Baton Rouge, basically, and going to all those games, and it's, it's everything a Baton Rouge kid dreamed of, you know? Uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, can you rock through that, through that play and just kind of, I mean, it, it, it was a great hustle play because he scored for first, but yeah. just, just kind of walk you through that and just kind of the, the emotions of that the high, and then, then when something, did, did you feel like, oh, uh oh, you had a little trouble with that? Yeah. When you uh, on, the, on the plate there. Well, I wouldn't want to go out any other way than getting me a base hit and my uh, one of my best friends uh, hit me in, Cade Beloso, man. That's unbelievable, and it's, I wouldn't want it to end any other way. And, you know, uh, yeah, when I came home, catcher tried to make a play on it, and uh, it's part of the game. Uh, when you play the game hard, it, you know, you're going to get injured. It's, it's not a matter of uh, when, it's just a matter of how. Uh, but yeah, I, as soon as I made a jump in the air, I felt my leg crack. I heard it and felt it. I knew it was broken. I, I mean, I tried to keep playing, and they wouldn't let me. That's, that's like almost the true definition of just leaving it out on the field, right? Yeah, man. If I had to trade a broken leg for a national championship, I'd do it every time. Does that play kind of sum you up? Is that what you're all about? Man, I, you know, I was, I was raised to play the game one way, and that's hard. Uh, you know, my, my family's full of winners. Uh, I surrounded myself with winners every day with this team, coaches growing up. Uh, and every guy in that locker room is a winner, and every coach on, in this program is a winner. And I couldn't be more proud to represent this university. Jordan Thompson and the game he played tonight in the last 48 hours, I'm sure he's gone through and everything. Yeah. I mean, is that, to kids watching, this is why you don't quit, right? Not many people could uh, handle that adversity right there, but I told Jordan Thompson before the game, I said, hey, if you're looking for somebody to believe in you, just look at me. I believe in you. And, uh, you know, this, this team's brother, brothers of mine, and we'll be remembering this for the rest of our lives. I know, I know post pregame, we're all like wondering what, what Paul go, what Paul go, but yeah. you had everybody else step up with the other, and, and that's just been the theme of this whole College World Series. Yeah. He's getting pitching from, from everybody. Sure. Yeah, it's next man up. Uh, we believe in each and every one of these guys on this roster, and uh, they did just that, but uh, I'm going to go celebrate with my team. Thank you all, though. You deserve it, Alex. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you all. And joining us right now is Braden Jobert. This celebration, having to this point, what, what does it feel like? Man, emotions are all over the place. It's what you've been dreaming about for, since I was four years old, you know? So, man, I'm just super blessed. I'm super thankful to be in this moment. How, how special is it? Because, I mean, you, you, watch, you grew up watching LSU. It's been 14 years in between titles. To be that team to finally get over the hump and win it, I mean, I mean how, how great an accomplishment is man, it's, it's, it? Like I said, it's what I've been dreaming about since I was a kid. And, I have no words, you know, just emotions are all over the place and I'm just I'm just taking it all in, you know, it's just unbelievable. unbelievable. What what was that approach at the plate? I know you guys haven't been raking like you wanted to in the first two games. This 18 run output here tonight, I mean, what went right for everybody and especially you at the plate? Yeah, you know, coach told us for the game, you know, go out there and be a tiger and, and play y'all's baseball and we did and you know when we play our baseball, that's what happens. So, you know, it just happened to be the national championship game that we did it and uh you know, it's just amazing. Talk a little bit about this pitching staff and, and you know, most of the questions coming into the into this uh, College World Series was, when's the pitching going to be good enough? But they showed it this yeah, entire tournament. Absolutely. Our pitching staff was unbelievable this entire tournament. Um, all season, really. We had so many people step up, you know, a lot of freshmen, a lot of guys that didn't even throw in the fall. And just they deserve all the credit, you know. They, they, they fought through so many battles to get here. And, and um, you know, we did this as a team. And joining us now is Paul Maneri, the former head coach of uh, LSU's baseball. And uh, you know most of these kids, these upperclassmen, you recruited them to see them win a championship tonight. How does it feel? Can't even really put it into words. I'm just so proud and happy for all of them. You know, I just can't help but reflect back to when, you know, you recruit them when they're 16, 17 years old and see the trials and tribulations that they go through that allow them to grow into the men that they've become confident, you know, adults that could go out there and compete so hard. And they all deserve this championship. You know, they, they all put in the time, put in the work, handled the adversity, handled the successes with dignity. And now we finally got that seventh national championship. I couldn't be happier for all the guys. You know, it does take that the person who's running it, and it's Jay Johnson who has to put these pieces together to make it work. What he's been able to do in the second season, 
with the transfers he's had, with the under upperclassmen, to have all that to, to gel and mix, how great of a job did he do? Oh, Jay did a great job but the entire year. I'm really happy for him. Um, you know, we obviously there was a good foundation laid, but, you know, getting some of those key transfers, obviously the big three, the third baseman and the two pitchers, I think it was just the finishing touches to putting the best team in the country out there. And I thought he was magnificent all year in the way that he managed the players, made the, made the decisions to go with the certain players. And uh, he deserves this championship, and I just couldn't be happier for him, his staff, and really everybody associated with the, with the baseball team and the university.
what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Awesome, awesome freaking game, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jay!